bounce. Here's Josh Herriot. Thank you, Michael. And looking forward to this clash as well this afternoon down here at Trevor Barker Beach Oval. Beautiful conditions for football this afternoon, and there's the bounce. Johnson and Campbell. Here's Velasaris at the back. A quick hand pass up towards his teammate there in Fairley. Fairly on to King. King to the outer side. High up and under kick. Will land on the wing. Hasty, who played last night for the Saints. He got the quick hand pass. Down towards O'Connell. O'Connell up towards half forward. It rolls over the back and it rolls out of play. We'll get a stoppage at half forward. Just inside 50 in the first 30 seconds of the game. So interesting to see Michael as well. Hasty, who I mentioned before, played last night the full quarter. But in the side for Sandringham today. So we'll see how he goes this afternoon. The ground bathed in sunshine. Jones, quick kick forward, almost a mark. It's been paddled forward. Collard was there. Blamirez wrapped up immediately. Strong pressure there from the Bull Ants. Mantis to lock things up and a stoppage at centre half forward. Campbell and Johnson will go at it. There's Dow, his first kick. I was a member of the St Kilda Footy Club. Of course, playing for the Zebras today. Makes his return from a knee injury. After coming across during the trade period from Carlton at the end of last season. We wish him all the best at his new club. Campbell is a dominant VFL Ruckman. Wins it down on this occasion. The Ants having to defend early. Lost their first three games. The Ants... To North Melbourne, Geelong and Frankston. But they are improved from last season as they clear defensive 50 but in the spot is the captain Seaton. Too far after score. Puts it into the pocket. El Hawley got a hand to it. Trying to keep it alive is Ollie Lowe. And we'll get a stoppage for the Zebras. Five changes for today's game couple of AFL promotions, Dougal Howard, well Angus Hasty was one of those but turns out he's back in the side as well. Tarkin O'Leary is playing in the Young Guns game tomorrow as we get a boundary throw in. And for the Ants, six changes from the side, only one of them a forced change, Alex Jacobs is injured. Cooper, Edmonds, Wall, Wark and Crosby uh, the other omissions. Hayes in the ruck. Wobbles it inside 50, but straight to El Hawley, who can rebound for the Ants. And he goes short to Fairley. On the outer side. Left half back. Looking to build the passage of play from there. He will send this one long to the wing. The big pack of players. Elliot flies. Got a fist in there. Just ran past the footy, though, and now... It's Sandringham who have the numbers. Hit well through traffic. Did well. Schellenmaker. We know he's a long kick. A probing kick inside. 50. And hits up his man in Vesely who takes the chest mark. My word. You don't see foot skills like that too often. Especially at this ground. It's not the windiest day. But still not easy to execute those kicks here at Trevor Barker Picho. Mm. So Vesely will kick from virtually point-blank range. Looking for the first of the afternoon for Sandringham, and he bunts it through. They're on the board. One straight six. Bullants yet to score. Four minutes gone. Will Vesely on the scoreboard. Yep, you see, just a special talent, Ari Schoenmaker. That left boot is unbelievable. Surely all heard the story by now. Did slip in last year's draft due to some off-the-field character concerns. Taking it pick 62 in the end. A young man from Launceston, but his left leg is an absolute weapon. And it sets up the first goal of the day for Vesley. As we're back in the middle. Ants yet to go inside 50. It'll be Johnson and Campbell. Campbell with strength, but Velasaris is there to gather. 43 touches last week for JL, and he's going to get another one here. Got it from El Hawley. Puts it inside 50, but Patton 
who's back from a pectoral injury, playing his first game of the season at any level, able to intercept, and Saints fans will be very happy to see that man back. Such a reliable presence in defence. Campbell got hands to it. Franks, Johnson, and they're working the corridor here, the Ants. Inside 50, Goodman's got speed. Got a cruel bounce, but lays the tackle on Keeler. And he's still going. Well done. You the young man, Mason Goodman, playing just his third game at this level. Velasaris dishes a handball off, gets it back. And working in tight quarters here are the Ants. Snap comes. Elliott can't quite take the mark, and Zagari happy to see it over. So a chance for the Northern Bull Ants to lock it inside their attack. And Elliott will take over rucking duties inside the forward half. Kicked a couple of goals in round three. Of course, the son of Matthew Elliott, former cricketer. Sandringham, though. The numbers prevail. They work the ball to the other side. Johnson went past him, picked up by Hart, pumps it inside 50, gave it Ryan. Claimed front position, works it back to Keeler. A full back, brings it near side. Zagari, his target. Just went over his head. And now it's along the boundary line. Wallace, stripped of the football. Hand pass out there from Schoenmaker. Ball skittles forward, up towards the pattern direction. He had lots of pressure around him. And the tackle affected there by Donegan to lock things up. Just inside 50. And the umpire will intervene and toss it up again. Campbell knocked it down in the contest. Dow, quick kick forward. Dangerous though, three on one. L Hawley couldn't quite reel it in. Strong tackle there. Franks edges the ball forward towards the pocket. Elliott's there in the oh. pocket. Gets round Keeler and then swings it round Goldwood. And can't quite finish. It's been brushed over the line off a hand for a minor score. Bullants one behind. Sandringham one straight six, seven minutes gone first quarter. He's a good athlete, Will Elliott. Touted as a top 10 pick potentially in his draft year a couple of years ago, but a knee injury ended those hopes. Now playing with the Ants as the kick-ins turned over. Williams, in fact, I should say Johnson takes the mark. Al Hawley drives it into attack. Jorgensen the target. But getting in front and taking a strong mark is McLennan. The NGA product for the Saints. This is docking. Concedes ground to Seaton. Now show and make up. The only one of the Saints 2023 draftees yet to make his debut. Collard, Garcia and Hasty have all played a game at the top level. Big Fist Mantis. Donegan puts it forward, making the contest and doing a good job was Chubb. Then the follow-up also good. Seaton under immense pressure. Schoenmaker tries to bang it out of the area, but it's smothered. And Goodman will send it forward, but it's all zebras. Keeler will run it over the line under pressure. So the Ants having a moment here, but unable to get the goal just yet. And Keeler wasting no time from full back. He sends it to Jones. And then Jones to the outer wing. Josh Docking takes the mark. It looks short. Hasty, who started well, plays on. El Hawley closed, and it affected the kick. He'll get it back again. Chipped short to King. King back up towards the wing. Johnson back to King, who kept running. And he sets up this passage of play. Well done, King. Bullants on the outer side now, and they went to inside 50. Kick towards Elliott. Ryan came over the top with the fisted spoil. It's rolling out towards the goal line, and over it goes. And another behind. So a game pressing, but just unable to find that mark inside 50. And try and weave an opportunity for a goal. Here's Keeler. Goes wide. McLennan and now docking. Slow build up from the Zebs. Ryan pokes it to Allison who's in for his first game of the season at any level after 
making his way back from a knee injury. Of course, missed most of last year with a stress fracture in his foot. Had potentially got himself in line to make an AFL debut, but injury crueled him around this time 12 months ago. In the corridor, Campbell dishes it off to Allison, who lowers his eyes and finds the leading target. And it's Hayes, who got off to such a ripping start to his AFL career a couple of years ago. Injury has crueled him since then. He's been able to string together about three or four games of footy now for the Zebras. He'll be hoping to get back in. And that's a wobbly, ugly-looking helicopter at through for a behind. We well, had that unbelievable start to season 2022 from memory against for uh, the Saints. And as you say, Michael has just been very unlucky with mm. injuries since. Time in the back half. Drives it long up towards Whitnall. Direction on debut today. Whitnall along with uh, Rook Barry for the Bull Ants. Well, Deputots. With high half forward, Hayes just ripped it out of the ruck contest. Dow tapped it forward, lost the free, and umpire was in the right position to see that. Disposal was illegally disposed of, and so Wallace. Drives it up towards Jorgensen direction. Spills off hands. Bomirez took the contact. Lost the footy. Up towards Hipwell. And now Ryan. Inside 50 towards full forward. Oh. And that's been Mark Vesely. Can go back and kick his second from directly in front. Jeez, good grab. Caught in the back position against Hayes. But see, he's got some athleticism to him, this young man, Will Vesely. And took a good mark in the end. The younger brother of uh, Olivia Vesely as well, playing at St Kilda in the AFLW. Will Vesely comes in directly in front, has missed that. It's a bad miss. So 1 2 8, Bullants, the three behinds, 12 and a half gone in the first. It's going to be Hayes to take the kick in. We spoke to his father before, and then we say a big hello to Mrs. Hayes, who we believe is watching. So a big shout out to you as Hayes goes short to Gardner. Of course, Hayes from just down the road in Cheltenham. Up the line from Gardner. Jorgensen has it fisted away by Keeler. Hasty, working in tight quarters, does really well. Puts it to the top of the square. Mark not taken in the end, and we've got a whistle. Brown is going to get the free. Will Brown. The former Sandy Dragon, who was in as the 23rd man today. Won a BNF in their premiership year yep. as well, so has some talent. And no stranger to kicking goals on this ground. Yeah, represented Vic Metro as well last year. Was the captain, I believe, of the Dragons in 2023. He's kicked two goals at this level. Will Brown and that one's perfect Zebs with the first two Angus Hasty already up to six disposals we wondered if he might be a little bit rusty coming in after a flight probably early this morning but showing no ill effects Caleb Franks and Matt King up to five disposals for the answer and Paddy Dow surprise surprise already has five touches. So good to see Dow starting this contest off strongly in the middle. Busy early. Hayes and Whitnell. Hayes won that one down. El Cyrus Hands and knees scrapping. Franks edges the hand pass to Hamilton. And they go forward the Bullets. Q 
Keeler at the back, almost marked. O'Connell, quick hand pass. McLennan, ground level. Being fed out towards Goodman. And couldn't quite barge his way through. And his debut in round three of this season. And yeah, they might have found one there. Tossed up again. Frank's applied the tackle. Showermaker at the back, though. Skies that one up towards this near side wing. Vesely through his hands. But at the back there was Allison. Allison short, docking. And pass in board. Vesely kept it in. A low ball and an awkward one to judge. Inside 50. Gardner, he went to ground. And then, did he drag it in? They're going to ask the question here. Umpire lurking. He's going to be pinged. And so, Logan Young will be rewarded with the free kick and will kick from around about 40 to 45 metres out on a slight angle. Spent some time at North Melbourne and West Coast as well in the Waffle. He's a COVID top-up player as well. Logan Young to come in the kick is on its way and he hits the post a minor score so they've missed a couple of gettable opportunities here at Sandringham they've still kicked the first two of the game 2-3-15 they could have had a couple more though and that's not a great kick out of defence no very dangerous from Hayes and now well, the Zebs unable to punish initially King needs to be careful Gets boot to ball, but not much purchase on the kick. Watson overran it. Blamirez puts the tackle on. They've tended to start games well, the Bull Ants, before fading out late. They are a younger side, of course, and that is going to happen. Blamirez has his kick partially smothered. Here's a chance now for Ryan. Searing ball. Doesn't quite get to its target. Well done defensively, Wallace. Ants under pressure, heart fumble. The Zebras unable to regain possession. Donegan's dragged to ground. Extracted for the Zebras. And Schoenmaker off a step. Just wide of the goal. He's just a joy to watch when he kicks the ball, Ari Schoenmaker. It was close. King to bring it out. Of defence for the Bull Ants. Alex near side. Elliott the target. Keeler at the back. O'Connell likewise. Dow went to ground. Paddled it up towards Keeler though, who found some space. Kicks inside 50. It's wide. Out of bounds on the full. So, Sam Hayes in the back pocket. Will cross skull. Oh, spilling the mark there was King. He's under a, a bit of pressure now. Tried to sell some foot candy. Oh. And his kick was smothered. Vesely's down there. Applied the pressure. They might be able to make him pay here at the moment. King's in there along with Hayes again. And in the end, the umpire's going to cross his arms and lock this one up. And a little indecisive coming out of the back line there from the Bull Ants. Results in a stoppage. Five metres out from Sandringham's goal. Knocked forward. Vesely... Trying to toe poke it forward. Docking's in there. And now Allison applying a tackle. And in the back, says the umpire. It's just that final action of the tackle as the players pick themselves up off the ground and tome at full back now for the Bull Ants. New to the Ants this year from the Brisbane Lions Academy. Up the line for Jorgensen. Had to contend against a couple. Drag to ground, Hamilton. Ooh, Vesley's made a terrific start to this game. 12 AFL listed Saints out there today for Sandringham. Campbell, one of them. So too Jones, who can't keep it in. Approaching time on in the opening term. The Zebs lead it by 13 points. The Ants have made a good start though. Just haven't been able to get a major on the board. Velasaris will clear. Jorgensen and Seaton, but Seaton judged it very well in flight. And took a mark. 
to the rocks. Campbell couldn't bring it in. Watson shovels it out towards Collard. Tried to tap it onto a teammate. Hayes onto it. Low took it over unintentionally on purpose, if you know what I mean. And will throw it in. So the Ants having to defend at the moment. Sandy have locked it inside their forward half and that's going to be a free kick to Johnson. Campbell infringing on that occasion. To the pack, Jorgensen over his head, Ryan. Handball smothered by Brown. Ryan gets it back. Can't quite get it to Blamirez on the full, but it might just work out okay. Dow's little turn, terrific. And he finds Allison. Really methodical with setting up this Allison kick. And good vision there from Dow. And he could have blazed away and gone long, lowered the eyes and had that option in Allison who provided strong presentation. He's a long kick, Allison. Won't have any trouble making the distance here. And it's drifting left. So Sandy unable to make it really count on the scoreboard. Two goals, five now. And the Bull Ants just three behinds. Had their opportunities coming forward, the Bull Ants. Hayes from fullback sends it wide. Keeler goes up. Docking will set out the target there was Jack Chubb. His first game of the season, along with Zach Hart, plays his first game. 2024 for the Blants. This one will be tossed in. Campbell and Johnson will contest in the ruck. Campbell at the back. Won that one down. Hit well. Jones was strong with the tackle. Empire will be required. Johnson. Jones. Through traffic. Feeds it out to Hipwell. Hand pass intercepted though. Mantis gets it on the boot. Up towards the wing. They fly. Jorkinson at the back. And then a quick kick forward there. Was smart from McKenzie, but it's been run over the boundary line there by Ben Patton. I think he was happy to find the boundary line on that occasion. So in front of the Neil Bencraft grandstand. Tossed in. Campbell at the back. Works it down. Kicked forward. Off a step there by Josh Hamilton. Inside 50. McLennan. Strong hands over his head. And he can restart Sandringham in the back line. Does that so well. McLennan to Jones. Now Patton, working the outer side of the ground, the Zebs, docking inside 50, Blamirez running back towards goal, will line them up. Tom Blamirez usually plays off the halfback flank, but spending a bit more time forward today. 21-year-old from Old Brighton, averaging... Just over 15 touches a game in the early going this season. Yet to kick a goal. He's directly in front. And it's not going to make the distance. Off hands. Whitnell. Mantis. They might want to rush it through here, the Ants. And they do just that. And they can reset from the kick in. Well, he wasn't quite satisfied with that one. Ramirez, he shook his head after kicking that one. Gardner in the pocket. Well, the Bull Ants will come short. Short. And Osiris. Told to go by the umpire. Was the kick short? And Whitnell. Half back. Seed some ground and now Hart. Want to go short. 
The option was on for time, but it's been ignored, and the end he plays on. We'll pump it long between wing and half forward. Ryan over the back, but Campbell, strong hand, stood his ground. Eyes to the middle. Now McLennan, who set up that last piece of play. Defensive side of the centre line. Ryan takes the mark now. Back to Campbell. Campbell at centre half forward. Will go long. In towards the pocket. And the mark has been taken there. Hayes. In the left forward pocket. Gee, Tom Campbell was good then. And Hayes now. He had a shot on goal. Moments ago, Sandringham looking to capitalise here, and they do! Right through the middle there from Jack Hayes for his first of the afternoon. Sandringham have their third. And they are 3 6 24 to just the three behinds for the Bull Ants to start this game. Now the scoreboard starting to reflect the territory dominance now for Sandringham. They've had it inside 50 13 times to the Ants 9. And they've had much more of the footy as well. 21 points the margin. As we're ready to go in the middle. Whitnell taking a turn in the ruck against Campbell. Clearance will go Sandy's way. Here's Watson. Inside 50. Off the hands of Campbell. He's playing forward. Blamirez with the strong tackle. And the Ants defence just under siege at the moment. Just can't possess the ball at the moment. Through traffic. Wide for El Hawley. One of their designated kickers. This time goes by hand. Brown. Tightrope in the boundary line. El Hawley. Sees it over. Right in front of the Sandringham bench. Matt King has eight touches to lead everyone on the ground. Delisaris in there, so too Watson. Ball spills free in the end. Barry it was getting the handball away. And here's a chance for Jorgensen. He's been starved of opportunity. Quick handball intercepted. And the Zebs can work it out through the corridor. O'Connell the Irishman. Looking wide, Hayes got a hand to it. Did really well in the end. Did Sam Hayes. And he finds Hamilton, who wants to move. Runs himself into trouble, though. He'll get another go at it. That's a little bit better as he finds Chubb. Too far out to score. Sets it up for his tall targets, Elliot and Jorgensen. Neither can take the mark. And we've got a rush behind for the Ants. We just saw Max Johnson... Right in front of us, he looks a little bit sore. He's heading straight to the rooms. And that's quarter time here at Trevor Barker Beach Oval. It's a 20-point game. Sandringham, 3-6-24. The Ants just the four behind. Goal kickers, Will Brown, Jack... Ha Sandringham, it's been dominant from Sandringham early. Can uh, the Bull Ants fight back? We'll see. Second quarter, here's Michael Peppercelli. Sandy kicking to the Nick Sortner goal in this second term. First clearance goes the Ants' way. Patton tracking it. Brought to ground immediately. It just have found it difficult going forward, the Ants, so far. He's Dow. Unable to get there on the full McMillan. It's all been difficult. Looks like Max Johnson hasn't come back on the ground, so Dane Whitnell may be thrust into full-time ruck duties, which is a tall task 
and you're playing your first game at the level against someone of Tom Campbell's calibre. Here's Allison on the lead. Touch ball. Jones. Blamirez. Round the corner. Zagari one on one. And used his body well. The kick was to his advantage. And Zagari one on one with Hamilton, able to mark. That's Hayes coming from the ground as well. Yep. Sam, that is, for the Ants. Yep. Difficult kick for Zagari. But he has made it look easy. Nice finish. Good kick there. His fourth year down here at uh, Sandringham. And as you say, Michael, made it look easy. The breeze has picked up a little bit mm. as the afternoon has gone on, as it tends to do down here at Trevor Barker Beach Oval. Nothing too significant at the moment, but nonetheless a difficult kick to execute from there. And Hayes just came from the ground. Sam Hayes with a little bit of discomfort. Don't think it was too serious, but it's just on the bench now. So tossed up by the umpire in the middle. Hip well wrapped up by Fairley. Take it to ground strongly. Umpire will intervene. Two and a half gone. Second quarter. Tossed up again. Campbell had a, a strong first quarter. Dow took the advantage. Goes back to Campbell. Campbell to Hasty. Hasty through traffic. On the right boot. Goes towards the docking direction. Out of side. Able to get it at ground level. It was taking the ground though on the tackle. Trying to get rid of it. Unable to. Campbell and Whitnell in the ruck. Dow strong tackle on El Hawley. Not going anywhere. Just keeping up to date with some of the VFL news. It was the Gold Coast Suns by five points over Port Melbourne earlier today. O'Connell to Hasty. Hasty run down. Just got the hand pass away. Schoenmaker taken to ground now. Cries a ball and rewarded for the Bull Ants. So Goodman in the middle. Sends this one long into attack. Elliot direction. Keeler came across with the fisted spoils. Seaton is there. Happy to see it over and out with McKenzie hot in his hammer. And the umpire will toss this in. Ten metres around from the right behind post. Manic pressure there from the Ants. And that's what they're going to need if they're going to work their way back into this. Elliot to handle the ruck duties. V Campbell. Campbell, the stronger, more mature body. Wins the hit out, but it's straight back out of play. So can the Ants conjure something from this boundary throwing? Can they get someone on the move? Campbell wins it down. Strong tackle, Elliot. Ball spills free. Goodman. Had it a long time. Ball spills free. Dow. Hit well. And the Zebs will work it out. Jones gets rid of a tackle. Finds his target up the line. He'll get it back, Jones. Long ball. Looking for Allison. Wallace confronted him. Docking clean hands. Good smother. El Hawley. And the Ants now can go the other way. Dangerous handball. Cut off. They work it out. Everything they do is under such pressure, the Ants, at the moment. Almost a big collision. Chubb got up there. Jorgensen dishes off the handball. Elliott's calling for it deep. It goes in that direction. Well done, Patton, to get the fist in at the crucial moment. Goodman applying the pressure. And he's going to get rewarded. Dived on it, said the umpire. So Mason Goodman has been a bit of a spark plug with his leg speed 
Inside 50 for the Ants. It's making his debut a couple of weeks ago. He's going to have the shot at goal. Has kicked one at this level. Coming off a 14 disposal, 7 tackle performance a week ago. And that's exactly what Rowan Welsh will want to see from him. And he can't quite punish the Zebras on that occasion. Another behind for the Ants. So Ben Patton from full back. Probably the cleanest passage of play though we've seen from the Bull Ants on that occasion though. Just not able to finish. Five behinds for them. Schoenmaker. Short to McLennan. In the back half, McLennan. Pat was on short. Told to play on by the umpire. McLennan. Oh, he was caught. And now on the boundary line, Jorgensen got round one, got round oh. another. Kicks an extraordinary goal from the pocket. And that's their first of the afternoon. They finally break through. And Jorgensen, what about that one? Bit so, of magic. So their most difficult opportunity of the day is the one they're able to put through the middle. And I mentioned it a couple of minutes ago, the forward pressure has really lifted for the Ants in this second term. And they are determined to make this a game. And the Zebras are feeling the heat in defensive 50. That'll be a big confidence boost for Jorgensen. He's gotten to a bunch of contests early on, but hasn't been able to take any marks just yet. Finish like that from the pocket. Should do his confidence the world of good. Back in the middle, the two number 38s in the ruck. Not recalled that bounce. Velasaris scrambles it forward. Elliot underneath it. Just misjudged it in flight. Schoenmaker did well. Elliot keeps it alive but only for a moment. Little momentum here for the Northern Bull Ants. Seeking their first win in almost 12 months. Last win came against Coburg last year in the Battle of Bell Street. Here's Jones. He's under tackle pressure. Wallace has pushed a long way up the ground for the Ants. Can't find Barry. Allison did well just to disrupt. And you just wonder. The Zebras could have killed this game early on, but they missed a few opportunities. Campbell will get a free kick in the ruck here. And a chance for the Zebras to steady. Short to Patton. Now Jones, and the switch is on, show and make up. Zagari wants it up the line, and the kick's going to go in that direction. King, the captain with the fist. Of course, Matt King, the co-captain. Liam Mackey, the other co-captain, not out there today as he serves the second of a four-game suspension. So it'll be tossed in in front of our broadcast position here this afternoon Elliot and Campbell Campbell just out muscled Elliot in the end knocks it forward but right over the boundary line and another secondary throw in on centre wing broadcast side 4 6 30 playing the Bull Ants 1 5 11 Jorgensen the previous goal kicker with a ripper from the boundary line in the left forward pocket. Knocks forward. Velasaris at the front. Competing there with Jones. Jones won the battle, but the ball spills loose. Elliott. Out to clear a kick forward. Barrels that one up towards half forward. Killer misjudged his run. Spills towards Chubb. Inside 50. The kick from Chubb is just missing. It was close. But a minor score. 1 6 12 they are. Sandringham 4 6 30, 10 and a half gone in the second. Sean Maker goes short. Oh. 
having to dive for it in the end was Ryan. Up the line he goes. Zebra's feeling a bit of pressure. Wallace, round the board, round the body. Goodman not paid the mark. Sean Maker did well to come across last minute. O'Connell, King, can't quite haul it in. And the Zeb's able to go forward. Seaton, check side ball. Hart one on one with Allison. Did well, the smaller man, but he's given it straight back. Allison has a man inside 50, and it's Collard. Well done, Matt Allison. Didn't give up after losing the initial contest. And he's found Collard for a shot at goal. You know, this man's got some skill and talent from Western Australia, of course, but kicked a lovely goal at VFL level a couple of weeks ago against the Giants at Monica. Made his AFL debut in round one, did Lance Collard. He just poked at that one, but he did just enough to get it through. And the Ants get something of a steadier. I should say the Zebras get something of a steadier. The Ants applying a lot of pressure on Sandringham. So goal kickers for Sandringham now. Collard with one, Hayes with one, Ellison... Brown, Zagari, and also Vesely, all with singles this afternoon for their five goals. Very well could have had a few more as well on the scoreboard. Back in the middle, not forward. There by Hayes. And now Lake Watson, Elliott. Corralled by Hayes, tapped it forward. Blamirez feeds the hand pass out wide. King ran past it. El Hawley, but King was upended. Advantage paid. Elliott on the outer side. Low. Hayes. Elliott kept his feet though. And the free kick though going to Franks. It was just tripped. Franks to El Hawley. El Hawley by hand to Gardner. Runs into trouble though, and there's the turnover. Hayes out the back to Hipwell, and then Hipwell drives a kick to Vesely. Playing up the ground, the wing. His kick was smothered. Hipwell goes in. Walsam contact, but won the footy. Still trying to clear this ball out of his grasp. And in the end, the umpire will have to do it for him as he crosses his arms. And this one's going to be tossed up. Center wing out of side. Jones lurking at the stoppage. Elliott and Hayes. Hayes knocked it down to Jones. Jones have Blake Watson on short. Goes to Hipwell in the end by Hand, who goes to Vesely. Couldn't take the mark. Out the back of the pack there. McMillan comes in board. And then over the top, Gardner. And then runs into Hayes. Strong. And the umpire was right there to toss this one up home involved also so another stoppage out of side 14 and a half minutes gone hit well lurking and the umpires picked out a free kick here high contact so Blake Watson the recipient comes in board low awkward one to judge it stayed low Lowe's kick wasn't great at all El Hawley now can pounce got out of the Ryan tackle Hayes though look out Came right up behind him. He was taken to ground. So Hayes inside the centre square still. For Sandringham. With the ball in hand. After the free kick. Inside 50. Vesely all on his own. Takes the mark. Unguarded. And will kick from directly in front 40 metres out. Yeah, I think El Hawley just took a look at Hayes and said, well, I'm probably quicker than you. I can get around you. But <laughs> Jack Hayes... Said not quite, and uh, it results in a shot at goal for Vesley. It's been impressive. Already one goal to his name. Mr. Couple in the first quarter comes in directly in front, kick is on its way straight over the goal umpire's hat. It's a goal, and he has two this afternoon. Sandringham with their sixth. 
First multiple goal scorer in the game is Will Vesley. But the goal really created by Jack Hayes on that occasion was outnumbered by three ants, but able to win the free kick and just chipped a nice little pass over to Vesley, who was able to finish. And the ants find themselves five goals down. They've had some opportunities. Here's Watson. Wins the clearance. First player there is going to be King. El Hawley. 31 touches for him last week. And that's a well-weighted ball for Chubb. Show and make a misread it. He's got Elliott one-on-one -on -one if he goes quickly. Waited a little bit too long. The Zebras were able to get back in numbers. Keeler has show and make up. And he can go. Kicks in the Vesley direction. El Hawley able to mark. Hayes did well. Just a body Vesley out of it. And now the Ants go forward. But McLennan gets back in the hole and intercepts. He's got low. He's going to go backwards. Fakilo. Fakila, I should say. O'Connell gets it to Zagari. Hipwell. Just to, goes to a contest. Dow trying to extract. Docking. Looks corridor, dangerous ball, Chubb cuts it off. So Chubb in the middle of the ground, looking to restart things here for the Bull Ants. He sends this one long into attack. Keeler though, well judged at the back with Elliott. Comes near side, Blamirez is there, bounced off his chest. Had time, spins around to Patton, who takes the mark. And then Patton, down the line and Young. Young, salts and foot candy. Lowers the eyes into the pocket looking for Vesley and couldn't quite find him on that occasion. And over and out it goes. And this one will be tossed in about 40 metres around from the right behind post. Some of the leading ball winners on the ground. Dow with 13. Hasty with 12 also. Young. Spins around, curls this one back to full forward, and the mark has been taken. Vesely again charging out from full forward. He kicked the most recent goal. He's had nine disposals to go with his two goals as well. Looking for his third. And he's been busy down forward as well, taking plenty of marks. Six for the afternoon, and he now has two goals and two behinds. A minor score. 6 7 43, Sandringham. The Bull Ants are 1 6 12, almost into time on second quarter. Hayes goes long and wide, chub the target. Campbell. Able to take control, hasty through the traffic. Jones' sidestep was terrific, and he's got the leading target in Young. Well, you just see the class of a couple of AFL listed players there. Hasty, then to Jones. And Logan Young's going to line them up from the pocket. Saw Zagari kick one from a similar spot earlier in the term. The Noble Park Footy Club, Logan Young. He's got 3-1 for, for the season. And he misses narrow on that occasion. So Hayes from fullback. 
to Gardner, and then Gardner wasting no time. Looks to Hart on the outer side for the Bull Ants. Being quick in this passage, Jorgensen strong presentation. Playing up the ground on the wing now. Still defensive side of the centre line. He comes back to Hart, who received from Gardner. A little bit messy, but Gardner able to recompose himself. Drives that one a half forward. Velasaris towards Hamilton. And then Hamilton wanted to bring it back in board. Jones is hunting. Just ran past the footy. Scooping it up there was Tome. But he goes to ground, wrapped up there by Vesely. And the umpire's going to rush in. Restart play. Pressure affected there from Jones. Showing his experienced hand. And there he is, hand pass to Hipwell on the boot. Inside 50 here for Sandringham, but cutting across William Wallace. Crosses goal. There's King on, who takes the mark. King. 26 disposals in round one. Time at Port Melbourne. His kick cut off though. Sean Maker comes in board with the kick and Pat takes the mark inside the centre circle. Plays on. Short pass and finds Blamirez, who's marked just outside 50. Probably doesn't have the leg on him. Blamirez. And now he sets it up into the pocket. Young flies. No mark taken. King again to mop up. Comes with the hand pass inboard. And now the Bull Ants work their way on this near side wing. There's no one home there apart from Jorgensen who won the battle. There's no one forward of him. He just blasts it long inside 50. Needs the right bounce. And he copped a cruel one. It can be... A very unlucky game sometimes, and on that occasion it was for Jorgensen. Well, you just have to feel for him on that occasion. Did everything right. And the fickle nature of the oval ball showed its hand there to the contest. Doing well, Hasty. Tackled well by Mantis. Seaton tries to go through traffic. Does well. Brown and Jones combine. Has Blamirez in the corridor. He can go. High ball. Two on two. Vesley can't bring it in. Hayes. Turn was good. And Jones will finish it off. And the Zebs get another. Well, a cruel bounce at one end. And then a couple of good moments for the Zebras. And it's an 11 point turnaround pretty quickly. Jones is up to 15 touches now with that goal. Paddy Dow has 13. Hasty also has 13. King 13 for the Ants. Velasaurus 12 and El Hawley 10. So closing in on the main break as Lowe comes onto the ground. We'll start on the east side wing. Back in the middle. Elliot and Campbell. Campbell rose and knocked it down. El Hawley attacked it hard. Hand pass to Fairley. And now they come forward. The kick there from Tome inside 50. Kick just too fierce there for Brown. who sees it over and out. Clennon was wearing him like a glove. And over and out it goes. This one will be tossed in. 25 minutes gone. Second quarter. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on afl.com.au and the AFL live official app. Tossed in again. Jorgensen rucking on that occasion. And then kicked out of there by Fairley. Out of bounds on the full wayward. And... Keeler to take his kick in the right in the left back pocket for Sandringham. Pick 44 in the 2022 draft. Isaac Keeler. Gardner infringed on the tackle. This is Watson. 
Campbell the target here. Bodied out of it nicely, but the Zebs end up with it anyway. Blamirez in the Vesely direction. Confronted by Wallace, who does well to bring him to ground. No prior, says the umpire. You can hear the wind. It's picked up considerably since the VFLW game this morning. Velasaris was taken high. Disposal number 13 for him, averaging 34 a game in the early going this season. Last year, named in the team of the year and just keeps on building over the head of Jorgensen. Keel has done well. Watson turns and wobbles it towards half forward. Allison couldn't control it. Velasaris is there and the ants will mop up, although Hart doesn't have much to go to. He finds Hamilton. Zebra's defending the ground really well, so he's forced to go backwards to Hayes. And now they're going to try the outer side with McMillan. He's able to gather. And he's got Elliott. So he pokes the pass to Elliott. Interesting to see Dane Whitnell just come from the ground as well and heading over towards the room. So the Ruckstock struggling at the moment for the Bull Ants. Fairly. Hand pass out to El Hawley, who had some room to move. Takes a couple of bounces. Then cuts the kick inboard. Hayes underneath it cuts it off. Steers that kick through the middle, but fairly. Was strong, takes the mark, has a ping from outside 50. Keeler, the last line of defence, got a hand to it. And a minor score touched over the line as he jabs the pass to Ryan. Has it in the back pocket. Short to O'Connell. The Irishman. From County Cork. His first year as a Saint. Still learning the game. Big fist comes from the Ants defence. Low and Hamilton. Spills free. King bangs it on the boot. Needs a contest from Jorgensen. Did enough to get it to ground. Keeler then wrapped up. And that'll be the final act of the opening half. The Zebras lead it by 35 points, 7850 to 1915. Some opportunities have gone begging for both sides in difficult conditions. Will Vesely has the two goals, and then everyone else has single Brown, Collard, Hayes, Jones, and Zagari for the Ants, while Jorgensen has the Ants' only goal. Zach Jones, 15 disposals, has responded well to his demotion. Paddy Dow and Angus Hasty, and also Blake Watson each have 13 for the Ants. Matt King, 14. Velasaris, 14. El Hawley and Fairley each have 12. So as we go to a break here at Trevor Barker Beach Oval, Sandringham leading the Ants by 35 points. Stay tuned on afl.com.au and the AFL Live official app. This VFL stream is brought to you by Maxis Tires. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed. Chemist Warehouse. Save more money every year with discounted prescriptions in every store every day. One pharmacy group has voluntarily passed on the full $1 prescription discount to all eligible patients on all concessional scripts. And we will continue to stand by our commitment to make healthcare more affordable for all Australians. So every Australian pensioner, veteran or concession card holder saves a dollar off their prescription. That's added up to an incredible $100 million. Chemist Warehouse, always here for you. Discounting prescriptions in every store, every day. Gown attacks the ball hard, swings around onto the right. Centering kick is good. Was knocked away from Owens, but he is able to recover. Oh, lovely. Absolutely spectacular by Tomo Owens. All right, we have a few technical issues, but we are underway in this contest between Southport and the Bombers. And Lake grabs the footy, 
and it's going to be Jacob Heron swinging the handball forward. And it's Matt Shannon sending the Sharks inside 50, going all of the way. What a start to this contest for Southport. Six points to the margin, 28 and a half minutes gone in this final term. Called to play, and it's a shocking handball from Wiedemann. It ends up with Crossley, the big man from the pocket, sets it up to the top of the square. Bombers everywhere, it's fisted off hands, Lake, he charges at the ball. Gray has another crack at it. The mark's been taken by Edwards. In round four of the Smithies VFL. He's got it. These two sides know no other way. Darren Joyce, he's wrapped up straight away. Cats with some extra numbers. Handball over the top there from Bradkey. They've got a chance here for the Cats through Riccardi. He's been impressive. Off a step, darts around one. Handball in ball back to Riccardi. Good pressure there from Brisbane, but it doesn't work out well for them in the long run because we've just seen some brilliant teamwork for the Cats and they've finished off beautifully on the boundary line with a stunning left foot goal. Snap around the body there from Torrent. Just over the head there of Martin. Caperon. Handball over the top was looking for Colossi. Rebel gets in the way. Rebel lowers the eyes. Mark dropped again. Rebel now front and square. How's the recovery? Oh, beautiful. Exciting stuff there from Bruce Rebel. And North Melbourne can just smack it out as far as and as possible as or as far as possible as they can. It comes out. A shot on goal, flying shot on goal, another one, and it's Josh Ward who kicks his second. Stolen away by Spicer, did well, oh gee they've done well, Scott again, inside 50, chance for one more, it's going to carry the pack and roll through. It's the day they're having, and that margin is out to 42 points work out nicely for Hay. Plays on quickly but it's smothered by Sheldrick. Now a chance for the Swans. Sheldrick gets it back from 60 metres out. Kicks in the direction of Francis. Can have a shot on goal Aaron Francis. What a finish! Aaron Francis, a brilliant goal. Angus Sheldrick with the smother to create it. The Sydney Swans hit the front again. I've had a good first quarter. Gets his hands on it here. Hair pass then. Goes out wide from Bartel to Lane. Kennedy, the pie's looking for oh, 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 What a wow. play that was! The ball you'll ever see, that one of the most intriguing games. Yeah, and he was a part of that. It was Kyle Waitman for Stratford that day. Collingwood ball here, Markov, through the middle. A couple of handballs, it ends up with Long. They look to go coast to coast here, Collingwood. Well and they run. needed that. Yeah. Of breaking. A 23-game losing streak. Oh, well done. And they may be a goal away from truly sealing it. Ernst got that hairball out. It's going to be Brayden Gillard on the right foot. Brayden Gillard! A win in the face. 18 points is the margin. Dintana Sante and Grant with a couple for the home side as Ramshaw gets the clearance of his live. Centre deep over Murkov. That's a fantastic goal. I love a sunburnt country. A land of sweeping plains. Of ragged mountain ranges. Of drought and flooding rains. When the lucky country isn't so lucky. Lucky you're with Amy. Maxis Tyres. From an impressive heritage, tyres that deliver safety and performance on and off-road. Maxxis Tyres. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed.
This VFL stream is brought to you by Maxis Tires. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed. Chemist Warehouse. Save more money every year with discounted prescriptions in every store every day. One pharmacy group has voluntarily passed on the full $1 prescription discount to all eligible patients on all concessional scripts. And we will continue to stand by our commitment to make healthcare more affordable for all Australians. So every Australian pensioner, veteran or concession card holder saves a dollar off their prescription. That's added up to an incredible $100 million. Chemist Warehouse, always here for you. Discounting prescriptions in every store, every day. Gown attacks the ball hard, swings around onto the right. Centering kick is good. Was knocked away from Owens, but he is able to recover. Oh, lovely. Absolutely spectacular by Tomo Owens. few technical issues but we are underway in this contest between Southport and the Bombers and Lake grabs the footy and it's going to be Jacob Heron swinging the handball forward and it's Matt Shannon sending the Sharks inside 50 going all of the way what a start to this contest for Southport six points the margin 28 and a half minutes gone in this final term called to play on it's a shocking handball from Wiedemann it ends up with Crossley the big man from the pocket sets it up to the top of the square Bombers everywhere, it's fisted off hands, Lake, he charges at the ball, Gray has another crack at it, the mark's been taken by Edwards! In round four of the Smithies VFL, he's got it! These two sides know no other way. Darren Joyce, he's wrapped up straight away. Cats with some extra numbers. Hemel over the top there from Bradkey. They've got a chance here for the Cats for Riccardi. He's been impressive. Off a step, darts around one. Hemel in ball back to Riccardi. Good pressure there from Brisbane, but it doesn't work out well for them in the long run because we've just seen some brilliant teamwork for the Cats and they've finished off beautifully on the boundary line with a stunning left foot goal. Snap around the body there from Torrent. Just over the head there of Martin. Caperon. Emble over the top was looking for Colossi. Rebel gets in the way. Rebel lowers the eyes. Mark dropped again. Rebel now front and square. How's the recovery? Oh, beautiful. Exciting stuff there from Bruce Rebel. And North Melbourne can just smack it out as far as and as possible as or as par, far as possible as they can. It comes out. A shot on goal, flying shot on goal, another one, and it's Josh Ward who kicks his second. Stolen away by Spicer, did well, oh gee they've done well, Scott again, inside 50, chance for one more, it's going to carry the pack and roll through. It's the day they're having, and that margin is out to 42 points. Work out nicely for Hay. Plays on quickly, but it's smothered by Sheldrick. Now a chance for the Swans. Sheldrick gets it back from 60 metres out. Kicks in the direction of Francis. Can have a shot on goal, Aaron Francis. What a finish! Aaron Francis, a brilliant goal. Angus Sheldrick with the smother to create it. The Sydney Swans hit the front again. I've had a good first quarter. Gets his hands on it here. Hand pass then. Goes out wide from Bartel to Lane. Kennedy, the pie's looking for oh! a What a wow. fly that was! Football you'll ever see that, one of the, the most intriguing games. Yeah, he was a part of that. It was Kyle Waitman for Strathmore that day. Collingwood ball here, Markov through the middle. A couple of handballs, it ends up with Long. They look to go coast to coast here, Collingwood. Well and they done. needed that. Of breaking. A 23-game losing streak. Oh, well done. And they may be a goal away from truly sealing it. Ernst got that hairball out. It's going to be Brayden Gillard on the right foot. Brayden Gillard! A win in the face. 18 points is the margin. Dintina Sante and Grant with a couple for the home side as Ramshaw gets the clearance of his life. Sends it deep over Murkov. That's a fantastic goal. I love a sunburnt country. A land of sweeping plains. A 
of ragged mountain ranges, of drought and flooding rains. When the lucky country isn't so lucky. Lucky you're with Amy. Max's Tyres. From an impressive heritage, tyres that deliver safety and performance on and off-road. Maxxis Tyres. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed. Lest we forget.
Welcome back to Trevor Barker Beach Oval. It is Sandringham in control of this game. 7 8 50. They lead the Northern Bull Ants 1 8 14. Here's Michael Peppercelli with the call. So, can the Ants pull it back a bit in the second half? Collard having a go in the centre bounce and he explodes away from the congestion, closes to 60 and hits up Lemayers beautifully. Well, that is the perfect start to the third quarter. And a big opportunity here for Tom Blamires as well. We've seen him at FAFA level for Old Brighton, but he's been rewarded with opportunities for Sandringham over the last couple of years now. And a big kick here for him. Missed an opportunity earlier today. This one directly in front. And it's across the face, oh. Besley. Almost. Taking an incredible mark. Allison takes it over the line. But Will Vesley has been mighty impressive so far today. Two goals in the first half and almost a highlight reel mark as the Ants clear. Underneath it was McKenzie. Lays the tackle. Frank's dispossessed. McKenzie almost taken high. Patton burrowing in. McKenzie again, this time was taken high. McKenzie in the back half now to restart the attack for the Bull Ants. King on the wing. Or at uh, half back. He was looking up towards the wing. Pulls the kick short. It was dangerous though. Show and make it got the fist in there. And Zagari happy to see it over and out because Patrick Fairley was right with him and took him over the line. So Elliot and Campbell to battle it out in the ruck. And half forward, Campbell knocked it down fairly through traffic. Able to keep his composure. The hand pass has been flicked out towards Hamilton, taken the ground. Umpire set play on. Keeler with the tackle, spills back to Fairley. Kicks off a step, wobbles it, but Jones. Well, he had heaps of time. Rockets the hand pass, Zagari. Downfield free kick, and advantage has been paid. The kick goes inboard off the boot there of Brown. And now Brown to Dow. Dow looks up towards half forward. Coming through there was Sam Hayes. Hip Wells built his way. Hayes comes in, follows up his good work with a strong tackle and takes his opponent to ground. In Derby, Hipwell. This one will be tossed up again. Campbell working his way to the front. Dow is there. Campbell got the quick kick forward. Velasaris to Patrick Fairley. Off a step. Kicks up towards the wing. Keeler! Almost. Couldn't quite reel it in. Off towards Showermaker. His kick up towards Ellison. Just missed him. And out of bounds it goes. Tossed in at high half forward in favour here of Sandringham. Who lead it? 7-8-50. The Bull Ants 1-8. 14, three minutes gone in this third quarter. It's going to be Elliot and Campbell in the ruck. Campbell has been fantastic today, as per usual. Flips it over the back beautifully for Patton, who's set upon, gets the handball away. Brown, Hart's got him. Fairley's worked his way up to 15 disposals. Most on the ground as Campbell, well, that clearance was smothered. And Zagari's kick chopped off by Mantis. Backwards for Hamilton. Gardner. Dangerous ball taken by O'Connell. Hayes gets the fist on it. Hayes with the bone crunching tackle. Shaws, it's locked up in defensive 50 for the Ants. Hayes taking the ruck work this time and was taken high. So he'll kick for goal number two of the day. And as we mentioned earlier in the day, he's been able to string a little bit of footy together now at Sandringham and he may just be factoring into 
selection calculations for the AFL side. If he gets a free run at it from the set shot, he converts. That's his second. Joins Will Vesely as multiple goal scorers this afternoon. With two apiece. So this one will come back to the middle. Currently. Essendon who lead Collingwood in that encounter down at Victoria Park. 8-10-58 to the Pies. Four goals, 11. That's four and a half minutes into the third quarter. Dallasaris from the centre. His kick, not so great. Runs along the ground. McLennan taking the ground. Great tackle there from Chubb. Not rewarded. Spills to Seaton. Seaton under pressure. Loses the footy holding the ball. So this one will come back to Brown. 55 metres out from goal. Brown sets the kick up towards the hot spot. Campbell. There was no one home. Campbell takes the mark defensively. And now he looks towards show and maker. Gee, that was a dangerous kick. Hasty able to come across. Provides the support. Keeler on the up. To Jones now. Jones can take a bounce. He can take another, another if he wants. He pulls the kick short. And now Sandringham continuing to attack inside 50. Hayes the target. Low in the pocket. Can try and roll this one home. And he hits the post. A minor score. And they move to 8-9-57. Eight, eight, Northern Bullants 1-8-14. And on the wing here is Brown. Or rather at half back. In for his first game since round one, Brown. Backwards to Gardner. The Zebras have defended the ground so well today. It's been a lot of this from the Ants. Kicking to Contest. Jorgensen able to hang on to this one. Good to see Dane Whitnell back out there as well for the Ants, although he is heavily bandaged across the nose. They've already lost Max Johnson for the day. Setting a lot of ground here, Jorgensen to Mantis. Now Sam Hayes. Velasaris. And the Ants now trying to work the outer side of the ground. This is King. It's another kick to a contest. Jorgensen underneath it. Campbell didn't hang on in the end. That's one he'd usually take. But the Ants will get bailed out by the in-the-back free. Allison just a little clumsy there getting in the back of Donegan. Puts the ball into attacking 50. It's thumped away from Whitnell. Zagari and Hamilton one-on-one. -on -one. Zagari did really well. Wins that contest but takes it over the line before he can get the kick away. So it's coming back inside 50 for the Ants. They get a little break. Can they turn it into something? They trail it by 43 points. Hipwell pushed off it. Zagari gets the kick away. Gardner with the spoil. Hamilton runs into trouble. Jorgensen now kicking it to where he'd rather be. Offhand show and maker. Zagari through the traffic nicely. And the Zebras can attack through the corridor. Patton's got space in front of him. Looks to the one on one. Low and Wallace. And he gets his man. Is a goal kicker, Ollie Low. Saw him miss one from the pocket moments ago. Still looks undecided, but he's going to go back and take the shot now after much deliberation. 
Geez, the carry was good then mm. to set everything up. That's why they love him. Back. That's why they love him here at Sandy. Only a slight build, but he plays much bigger than that. As Lowe comes in from the angle and misses. So Gardner now. Just a handful of games saw Paul Ants last season. Pumps that one short and fairly takes the mark. Kicked a couple of goals in round one and also round three. He goes short with a kick to King. And King to Mantis. Concedes some ground. Mantis over the top. Franks. This is where they've struggled. They've just been strangled trying to exit their defence. Jorgensen just marks ahead of Hasty. Playing a fair way up the ground. Jorgensen again they concede. Back to Sam Hayes. Over the top by hand. Mantis. His kick. Hits up Goodman. Elliot the target. Couldn't take the mark, Keeler. Vicious tackle over towards the boundary line. Keeler looking a little ginger after that. With the wind sucked out of him because that was very strong and may have injured his leg here as well. As he comes from the ground. Jorgensen knocks that one down. Fairly paddled it forward. Velasaris was good in the contest. El Hawley, Franks, Velasaris again. He's got a free man out there. McKenzie takes the mark, runs around, left foot kick in towards the Elliott direction, who flies. Franks just ran past the football, hit well, hand pass out. McKenzie again gets it on the boot. In towards the pocket, how will it bounce towards the boundary line? And Hamilton can't quite keep it in. He runs out of real estate, and this one's going to have to be tossed in again. And as Keeler has come from the ground, a bit of pain as well. He's been excellent so far today. Isaac Keeler defended John Jorgensen for most of the afternoon so far. Ball eludes both rucks. The Zebras will clear. Show and make up. We'll get to this ball. Lowe takes a step and has to go. Had Allison on his own at half forward. Vesely calling for it in the square. Show and make is just the man to get it to him. He goes in that direction. Vesely caught behind but takes the mark anyway. And the left peg of Ari Schoenmaker proving a weapon once again. So Vesely will kick for number three. He's been mighty impressive today. A real athlete. And now he's got three goals putting together a standout performance for the Zebras. And his aerial ability, aerial ability today has been outstanding. Seven marks for him this afternoon. Yeah, we should mention first game of the season. Yep. 193 centimetres, that wiry sort of athletic build linked to Caulfield Grammarians. former Sandy Dragon as well so three goals two to go with his 11 touches and seven marks it's been outstanding for them down forward in the middle again Campbell back on the ground Jorgensen doing the rucking Jones trying to hunt that ball down Dow through traffic got it to Jones spills it but gets it back Jorgensen with the pressure Spills to Ryan on the up. And then Ryan into the middle of the ground. He's changed jumpers, Ryan. He's wearing 83 now. That one's been locked up in the centre, usually wearing number 74. So it must have been a jumper change for either quarter time or half time. Tossed up. Campbell. Alasaris through his hands. 
Watson involved. Coming through there, Gardner. Now to the outer wing. Ball finds a chest of Barry. On debut today, Rook Barry. Towards centre half forward, Jorgensen the target. And now the Bullants can come forth. The hand pass towards Brown. He was under pressure though immediately. And the umpire will intervene. Centre half forward. Campbell knocks it down. Blake Watson got it to Jones incorrectly though. Disposed of illegally. And so the Bullants. Belisarius pulls the trigger and touched. A minor score. And the move to 1 9 15. Sandringham a 9 10 64. Almost 16 minutes gone in the third. Here's O'Connell. Category B rookie. Long to a contest. Wallace got the knee in the back of Campbell. Good defensive play to force the stoppage. Pelisaris up to 20 touches, most on the ground. Zach Jones has 17. A little bit quieter in this term after 15 in the opening half. But he'll get a free kick here. Patton. Played 12 of the first 14 games last season, but then wasn't cited at AFL level after that. Playing his first game at any level this season after a peck injury. Schoenmaker's been impressive once again. Vesley can't quite hang on on that occasion. Hayes there to apply the spoil. Looks a little sore, Vesley. He's going to make his way off the ground. Hopefully just a corky. Patton clears. To the hot spot. Hayes loose. Gets the spoil. Mantis. Off to Fairley. Underneath it is Jack Hayes or Ollie Lowe. And the latter takes the mark. Ants have gotten back in numbers. Solo just sets it up and gets the mark from Hayes. Goal number three beckons for Hayes. And that would make the margin 55 points if he kicks truly. Five goals for the season now, and he uses the breeze to perfection. That's his third of the day. So he and Vesely have been their real target forwards today, and each with three apiece in this encounter as the wind picks up, and you can probably hear that through the effects mic as well. Breeze blowing right across the ground as it tends to do so later in the day here at Trevor Barker Beach Oval. Round five action of the Smithies VFL season on the AFL Live official app and afl.com.au. Jack Chubb now in the rack with Campbell. Campbell worked his way to the front. Dow. Gang tackled, taken to ground by a couple of bull ants. Again tossed up. Campbell, Jones. Put the handball free. Franks though intercepts, kicks inside 50. Elliott the target. In towards the pocket now. Jorgensen, Keeler back on the ground. Good to see he's okay. Wrapped up though by Jorgensen. And he did well to force the stoppage and then the uh, left forward pocket did Jorgensen tossed up again Campbell palmed it down in the pocket Franks 
Feeds the hand pass wide. Taken high there is Josh Hamilton. Will receive the free kick. A difficult angle though. But he will run around. He sets Sal for home. And it's narrow. Way too narrow in fact. Misses the lot out of bounds on the full. Show maker pops it short to Keeler. Who's called to play on. Back to show and make up. Finds Hasty, his fellow 2023 draftee. Allison's hands were good to Ryan. Blamires wanted the one two with Ryan, but miscommunication and Gardner got him. So Gardner in his first game for the season. Taylor made for show and maker, really. El Hawley didn't have a chance. He's going to bite off the aggressive corridor kick. Campbell can't haul it in. Elliott there to disrupt. Did well in the end. Jones put his head over it. And the ball's locked in. Ari Schoenmaker not afraid to trust his foot skills. And why would he be? Campbell somehow got boots a ball. King there to retrieve. Gardner. Just bangs it on the boot, hoping for the best. Only as far as O'Connell. Show and maker again. Left it instead for Hasty. Handball intended for show and maker. Intercepted. Ryan is set upon. Fairly laying the tackle on Patton. Had a long time to get rid of it. El Hawley creates the contest. Put his head down. And then a couple of zebras got him. But he didn't have prior opportunity. 55-point game. Elliot this time wins the hit out. Straight to Patton. Jones. Had to sum, the, sum up the options. Dangerous ball, but it'll come off. Blamires. Doing well not to infringe there. Was fairly. Over the top, McKenzie. The Ants trying to manufacture... A, a second goal, nothing coming easy though. And the Zeb's able to emerge with it through Blamires. Collard's one on one. Can he make something happen with Mantis? The latter did well to use his body. Keeps it alive. Still in, says the umpire. Collard eventually gathers, snaps towards goal. It's over the head of Young and still alive. No, through for a minor. Well, almost bent that one round to perfection. Collard just fell short. So Gardner from full back runs out of the defensive goal square. Sends this one up towards the Jorgensen direction. Hasty wrapped up. Strong tackle there from Donegan. As Hasty was taken to ground, Jorgensen can't quite keep it in. And a battle there with Seaton. And the umpire will elect to toss this one back into play. Campbell and Elliott contesting the ruck. Belisarius now up to 20 disposals in this game. Hasty received from Jones but just lost it. Taken by Elliott. Out towards Franks. And then getting it on the boot there. Goodman up to half forward. But McLennan is at the front. Told to move on by the umpire. McLennan. Back whence it came. And at the back there was Wallace. Through his hands. Blake Watson. Off his hands. And out of bounds it goes. So another throw in. And half forward here. Elliott down the ruck with Campbell. 24 minutes gone, third quarter, Zagari kicks it forward, Collard direction, he was caught behind and as a result he was trying to scramble forward and just took Mantis high, who will take his kick. Gives it to Velasaris, who gives it to Hamilton, who takes them on, almost ran himself into trouble but did well in the end, they need a bit more of that, the Ants. Jorgensen beats Keeler in a one-on-one, -on -one. looking for Goodman on the paint of 50 and he's got it. 
Wheels around. El Holy, the extra will fly. Can't bring it in, but Chubb could. Logan, stay, stay. And a rare goal-scoring opportunity off some excellent ball movement for the Ants. Need to see a bit more of that from them. Hamilton the instigator. And it's going to be Chubb to line them up for his first goal of the season. Plays for Montmorency in the Northern Footy League. Just 20 years old, 195 centimetres. He's a good athlete. And he kicks the goal. The Ants get their second late in the third term. A nice piece of play for the Ants. Their best of the day so far. Joins Jorgensen as the goal kickers for the Northern Bull Ants. Does Jack Chubb. As you mentioned, Michael, his first game of 2024. 2-9-21 they are. Sandringham, 10-11-71. 50-point margin closing in on the final change. 26 and a quarter minutes gone in the third quarter. Hayes in the ruck with Elliott. Velasaris paddled it forward fairly. Back to Velasaris. Uses King. He's out the back on the back flank low though for the Zebras. Hayes now. Ryan. Crafty kick round his body. Collard. Had some space. Put the mark unguarded. Lowers the eyes. Blomeyer's the target and hit him up beautifully. Great kick. Blomeyer's just... Telling his teammates to slow things down. He wants to have the shot. A 45 degree angle, thereabouts. And will kick from around about 40 metres out. Left forward pocket. So Tom Blamires. Of course with old Brighton in the Vaffa. First year with the Zebras was... Last year, he'll come in, run around. Tom Blamires, it's coming back with the win, not enough. And it's been fisted over the line and through for a minor score. 51 point margin, 10 12 72, playing 2 9 21. Franks receives the kick in. Cross the ground to Hart. Hamilton, the next link. Jorgensen wants it long up the line. He's got both Keeler and Lowe to contend with, though, but it's turned over straight to Vesley. And at three quarter time, it's a 51 point lead to the Zebs 10 12 72 to 2 9 21. Hayes and Vesley each have three goals singles to Brown, Collard, Jones, and Zagari. For the Ants, Chubb and Jorgensen are the goal kickers. Zach Jones, 21 disposal. So too Ari Showen make up. Hasty 17, followed by Dow and Patton, each with 16. For the Ants, Velasaris has 23, Fairley 20, Matt King 19, and Caleb Franks 17. One quarter to go on afl.com.au and the AFL Live official app. Don't go anywhere. It's the Zebras leading the Ants by 51 points. This VFL stream is brought to you by Maxis Tires. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed. Chemist Warehouse. Save more money every year with discounted prescriptions in every store every day. At Truck Assist, we only cover one thing. Specifically, trucks for landscaping, trucks for cabinet making, bed trucks, mm, smell that bread truck, trucks for chippies, ones for brickies. Oh, and really big vans. We get your business sorted. With Roadside Assist, if your battery says nope, 
Downtime cover if this is your only hope. And motor cover if things don't go to plan. That's insurance from the specialists. Truck Assist, it's what we do. Maxxis Tyres. From an impressive heritage, tyres that deliver safety and performance on and off-road. Maxxis Tyres. Performance when it's wanted, safety when it's needed. One pharmacy group has voluntarily passed on the full $1 prescription discount to all eligible patients on all concessional scripts. And we will continue to stand by our commitment to make healthcare more affordable for all Australians. So every Australian pensioner, veteran or concession card holder saves a dollar off their prescription. That's added up to an incredible $100 million. Chemist Warehouse, always here for you.
One quarter to go here in Sandringham. It's the Zebras leading the Ants by 51 points. Final term about to get underway. Elliot and Campbell to do battle in the ruck. And the umpire is going to throw this one up to restart the final quarter. Campbell pumped it down fairly. Elliot trying to scoop the ball at his bootlaces. Franks went to ground. Fell over the top of the footy. Campbell wrapped him up. Couldn't escape that tackle. Tossed up again. Jones wrapped up. Fell right onto King though. In that hard part of the ground in the centre circle. But again, this one is going to be tossed up. Velasaris now up to 23 disposals. And Jones on 21 with... Show and maker Jones now 22 kicks inside 50 whistle on play though and it's going the way here of William Wallace in the back line steers it up towards the wing O'Connor was brilliant from behind a timely fist spills to Jones again who received the hand pass he goes towards his teammate and now Collard Jones just ran past it and then coming through there was Hamilton taken over the line though strongly and this one will be tossed in right in front of the Neil Bencraft grandstand. And these two sides met last year at this ground. It was the Zebras by 99 points over the Ants. Campbell to Hasty. Dow sold a bit of candy. Couldn't quite find a target inside 50 though. Ants defence under pressure as it has been for the majority of the day. Get the stoppage. Campbell flicks it wide. Collard picks it up. Doesn't need much time or space. Can't create anything on this occasion. Just get excited whenever Collard gets a moment inside 50. He is capable of the ex of the exhilarating Hamilton gets it to Hart links up with Mantis El Hawley wanted it long and he marks in front of McLennan Tome former Brisbane Lions Academy member to Gardner now fairly this will be his 21st disposal of the day. Chips it to his great midfield mate, Velasaris. Number 24 coming up for him. Tom Campbell's a kick behind the ball here and he'll get involved. And he'll take the defensive mark. Just so hard to score against his Zebra side when Campbell's doing that. And now they bring it out the other side to O'Connell. So O'Connell received from Hasty. Over the top to Jones. Short. And Jones lobs the kick up. Dow. His kick is a floater. Mantis was able to turn around at the right time. Stick his arms out and take that mark. Send it back up towards half forward. Jorgensen there. A three on one though. And Keeler, easy pickings for him at the back. Can go short to Schoenmaker. Schoenmaker, Blamires. And now Patton. Off to the races. Takes a bounce. Zagari now out wide. Kicks. King intercepts. Intended target, Allison. King comes in board. Tome. Gives it off by hand to Fairley. Fairly, not a great looking kick inside 50. Didn't give Jorgensen a chance to run and jump. Had to scoop it up at ground level. As a result, it was wrapped up by O'Connell and Keeler. And the umpire is required. 51 points to the margin. Jorgensen knocks it down. Jones through traffic in the stoppage. Kicks it towards the outer wing. A foot race is on. Ellison had support through docking. Comes in board. Blamires again. Takes the mark. Wing out of sight. Blamires. Plays on. 
Kicks into the pocket. Ellison, his target. King at the back. But the hand pass to Velisaris. Velisaris off a step. And he finds Wallace. Goes long in the chub direction. And takes it as the meat in the sandwich. Looking for McKenzie. Seaton did well. Didn't quite handball it where he wanted to though. But the Zebra is able to get out of danger. Show and maker a rare handball. Blamires hit well. And now the Zebs can go the other way. Docking. Just held it up momentarily. Vesely the target. Had to compete against three. And might have given away the... F no, he gets the free. <laughs> Blocked out of it. And it's not Vesely. It's actually Logan Young. He's going to go short to Collard. And he got it a little bit closer to goal, but the angle much harsher as Collard lines him up. One goal, one today, Lance Collard. Picked 28 in last year's draft. He was on the injury report with a hamstring injury during the week, but he's obviously gotten over that and is out there today. Looking for his second. He misses Skinny. So a minor score there for Lance Collard. Mantis from fullback. Hart the target. <laughs> Did well to mark that one because low was steaming across. Zach Hart. At half back, up towards the wing, Jorgensen able to just get to that one and take the chest mark as Hart comes off the ground. Jorgensen told to play on. Ooh, couldn't quite get round. Keeler, who got a hand to him, low comes across. Applies a tackle to lock things up. Jorgensen just nothing on though, further up the ground. Was forced to try and take the game on. King lost the footy fairly out the back. Valisaris gets it on the boot. Schoenmaker getting a fist in there was McKenzie down towards the middle of the ground. Chubb volleyball style over the over the top towards El Hawley who was wrapped up though. Ball still loose at the moment in the middle of the ground. Jones takes possession and. He's not going anywhere in the fairly tackle. We get another restart of play. Just inside the centre square. Almost eight minutes gone. Knocked down. Quick kick forward. And seats in front position. Takes the mark defensively. Reads it so well off the boot. Anthony Seaton. He's been the captain of this Zebra side for a few years now. Keeler's had an outstanding day at the office. He's kept Jorgensen super quiet played mostly as a forward last year is turned into a defender this year danger signs here for the ants as Watson gets it to low but he couldn't hang on Gardner did just enough to disrupt him but he gave away the free late and low is going to have a chance to pop it short to hasty he can go no one stands the mark Deep in the pocket by foot. And that's a mark, is it? Yep. Taken in the pocket. Looks like Allison. In fact, it's Hayes. So how's he going to negotiate this? Looks like he's going to run around onto the left. He's got three already, Jack Hayes. And he hits the post. So Sam Hayes back on his feet after that particular contest. Positive sign there. Gardner. Not sure what to do in the end. He'll go long to the outer side. Mantis takes the mark. Plays on. Wasting no time. At the free man in Hamilton, who takes the game on, takes a bounce. 
Gets to 55. Shower Maker was closing the space. Hamilton's kick in board. Not a great one. Ryan got in the way. Intercepts. Comes out towards this near side. Hayes has to beat Hart. That support there in Hasty. Back to Hayes and then Hayes to Dow. Dow at right half back. Comes in board with the kick. There were a couple there, Jones and also Brown. Brown was at the front, lost the footy though. Chubb pumps it forward into attack. Rolling ball towards the pocket. Brown is there, but it's taken over and out. And this one will be tossed in. In the left forward pocket, Belisaris now up to 26 disposals. Zach Jones, 25, and Patrick Fairley on 24 with Schoenmaker. 23 and both Hayes and Vesely with three goals each to their name as the kick from the stoppage and Eric one and Barry takes the mark so can the debutant try and steer this one through from Narabanong Parks Rook Barry have to kick from 45 metres. Brook Barry comes in. Didn't hit that one as well as what he would have liked. It falls short. Ducking and weaving there was Hamilton. Keeler, last line of defence. Takes the mark defensively. Brings it wide. And here's Ellison who takes the mark. Long way up the ground. Short ball gets to Ryan. One on one. Low and Wallace. The latter did well. Adel Hawley in support. And that's a slicing inboard kick. As Hart sends it into attack. Jorgensen. Keeler. Just able to get the arm in. And force it over the line. He's defended so well today, Isaac Keeler. And if you're a Saints fan watching this game, that's a very positive sign for his development. Hayes with the bulk. Dow set upon immediately. Hipwell puts his head over it. But a couple of ants have locked him down. Scoring's dried up a little bit for the Zebras. Goodman intercepted by Zagari. Only as far as King. He'll be just outside of his range here. It's a congested, congested 50. Big fly at the back from Chubb. Couldn't bring it in. And we'll get another ball up. The Ants doing some attacking late. Watson just got the hands free. Got a push in the back as well. So the Zebras will get out of trouble. As Tome hoots with disapproval after that contest. Show and make a room. On the end of that kick. That's the mark. Out of side. Pulls it short. Ryan. Second bite of the cherry. In front of the scoreboard. Show and make is his runner. Goes by hand to him. And then his long left footer up towards the wing. Vesley was there, caught at the back. Hayes goes to ground. Now he gets it. Wrapped up, though, at ground level. Jack Hart had him covered. Fifty-three points the margin. 10-14-74, Sandringham. And they're going forward here once again. The kick inside, 50 to Ellison. Couldn't quite take the mark. And now Vesely on the up. Myers tried to spin his way out of trouble. Back to Ellison. Comes with a hand pass towards Blake Watson. Myers again. Free kick. For a high tackle. Is going the way of Myers In the left forward pocket. And Myers has had three shots today from memory. And unable to convert either of them. Third time lucky, maybe. 
for Tom Blamires, who will run around in the left forward pocket and he <laughs> hits the post. It's going to be brought in by King. That was Blamires' 17th disposal. Short for Fairley. Short again for Velasaris. His game high, 27th disposal coming up. He's got Goodman calling for it long. Big fly and almost brought it in off his head, in fact. Brown dispossessed. Goodman burrowing in this time on the ground. And he wins himself a free. Goodman, the young man from Essendon, due to Stars, playing just his third game at State League level. Represented the Cannons last year in the Coates Talent League. Ball eluded everyone. McKenzie just wobbles it forward, and now the foot race. Ryan will be first to it. Brown chasing him down. But Ryan had plenty of time. Finds docking. Hasty. Allison presents up the line. Couldn't take the mark. And Hasty will sit underneath this one and intercept. Had eight disposals in the last quarter last night oh. for the Saints. Is dropping the mark McLennan. Usually sure handed. Awkward looking kick for Patton. El Hawley is with him, but he went to ground. Keeler's got to be good here. It wasn't clean. And now a chance for the Ants. El Hawley hit the belly of the ball and couldn't hook it back. So hasty to take the free kick. Short to Hipwell. Still in the back half. Hipwell pulls the kick short. Patton takes the mark. Drives the kick towards the outer side, but King, well judged for the Bull Ants, intercepts, and again short to Velasaris. He's been one of the best, one of their best today. Velasaris pumps it long. Jorgensen, he's also been pretty busy for him as well. The kick from the pocket. For short, Keeler to low, and then low, play on, Blamires. Takes the mark over the top to Jones. Jones, true centre wing. Jones. This goes further up the line and just stays inside the field of play. Cutting across with the fist there was Logan Young. And uh, over the line it goes. An update on the other game happening this afternoon at Victoria Park. It's the Bombers by 11 points. And in fact, that uh, has just updated by four points, 76 to 72 in that game. So it's the close one, 16th minute mark at the final quarter down at Victoria Park. That one also on the AFL Live official app. Kick goes forward, Collard involved. Logan Young, Blake Watson, he's king. Was he taken high? Yes. Umpire saw that one in full view. And now it's the Bull Ants through. Velasaris goes wide. Hamilton over the top at Donegan. Couldn't complete the mark. Pushed off it in the end. But the ball not going anywhere. Velasaris closing in on 30 disposals. Still no goals in this final term. Approaching the 20 minute mark. Both sides have seemingly put the cue in the rack to some extent. Jones trying to change all that. Looking top of the square for Vesley. In fact it's Logan Young. 
and he'll run into the open goal. So Young gets his first of the day. And finally, the deadlock is broken. Alisaris now up to 29 disposals. Looking at some of the leading ball winners on the ground. Jones with 27 and a goal. King with it's Matthew King with 26 disposals and Fairley with 25. Hasty 25 as well. He's been good today. Of course, we mentioned it in the first quarter. Played a quarter last night. Flew home early this morning to play in this game. Hit well out of the centre. Clear and kick inside 50 here for Sandring Hamfister forward, Blamires takes the advantage over the top to Collard and he can walk it in to the open goal and Lance Collard has kicked his second of the afternoon and the floodgates have seemingly opened in the mm. final term, took 20 minutes for the first and just about 30 seconds for the second 66 points now the margin, if this margin holds it'll be the Bull Ant's biggest loss of the season so far. They've lost by 39, 53 and 51 points. The Zebras have gone loss, win, loss, bye. And now they're going to get their second win on the board for season 2024. Campbell with the hit out. Franks. King. To Hamilton who's been running the wings all day. Collard, Topoke was clever. Winning it back is King and he was taken around the neck. Yet to concede 100 points this year, the Ants, but they really are struggling to score. Averaging a total in the 30s per game. 37 to be exact and they're well under that today Velasaris up to 30 touches now Jorgensen couldn't take the mark a chance here for a late one for the Ants and it's missed by Donegan so show and make it to bring this one back into play Sandringham will by North Melbourne back here at Trevor Barker next weekend and the Bull Ants will face the winless Port Melbourne as well at their home ground next weekend so that will be one to keep an eye on potentially to see who can break through their first win of 2024 is this one goes forward and fairly has taken the mark will kick from a 45 degree angle about 35 to 40 meters out and he's battled hard today Patrick fairly has been one of their better players on the ground 26 disposals for him kicked a couple of goals in round one and then round three this one is on the way and it's narrow is missing towards the left hand side a minor score two behinds for Fairley today show and make a waste no time Patton has made a successful return from that peck injury now keel up Brown back to keel up just too much on it for Zagari. And the Ants win it back. Jorgensen just stuck the one mid out and able to haul it in. They've only managed two goals 11 to this point, the Ants. Jorgensen kicked a terrific goal from deep in the pocket in the first half. Kicking for his second 
He's presented hard all day. He's had two defenders to contend with for most of the day. Keel has done a terrific job on him in the one-on-ones as well. But he hasn't stopped working. And John Jorgensen can't quite get the reward. So Patton now from full back. Runs it out of the square. That one wide though. Out of bounds on the full. El Hawley. Comes back on his line. Hasty to man the mark. El Hawley plays on. Kills that one back inside 50. Elliot the target. Jones received the hand pass. And then short from Dow. Underneath it there is Wallace. Switches the play. He's King. He's been busy today. In the back half of the Bull Ants. Goes wide. To Goodman. As the sun comes out. Goodman. A long left footer. Up to about half forward. He's been fisted inside 50. Velasaris is there. Got the quick hand pass away and then streaming towards goal is McKenzie and he nails it. And they finally have their third of the afternoon. 3 tw- uh, 3.12.30 they move to. And Rowan McKenzie joins Jack Chubb and also John Jorgensen as the three single goal kickers. Made his debut last week, Rowan McKenzie from old Ivanhoe and that's his first goal in the Smithies VFL. So well done to him. What's been a disappointing day in the end for the Ants as a whole. But they're fighting it out to the end. Twenty-seven minutes into this final term. That bounce will be recalled. Hayes this time down to Jones. Watson, blind turn was terrific. And that'll do it. The Zebras get their second win of season 2024 over the Northern Bull Ants who remain winless. 12-15-87 to 3-12-30. Jack Hayes and Will Vesely kicked three goals apiece for the victors. Collard had two singles to Brown, Jones, Young and Zagari for the Ants.